everyone, this is Nuresh here, posting a new video on the Sensex analysis which we posted on the blog, wherein we saw a good rally from 15,950 levels to 17,500, which was our target, and the Sensex ended up up till 17,735. Now let us see what was the chart posted around when we were trading at 15,700. Now in this chart we posted that there is a triangle formation, wherein 15,450 and 15,950 are crucial level for quick traders. Now if you see this is a triangle formation similar to one which we had some time back during the March uh, March 4th area wherein we broke out on the downside. Now seeing this triangle out here if we see the levels are 15,450 on the lower side which didn't break down. Now after the chart being posted we saw two days wherein the market made tops around 15,953 and 15,956 or something. So this clearly stated that the markets were get facing resistance around 15,950. So th this was the same level which we discussed. Once it started trading above 15,950, a call was to go for specific longs and we saw the target was around 16,800 to 17,200 band which was given at that point of time. So we see here that the whole rally commenced around 15,950 and reached around 16,800 in a matter of 4 sessions. And again what was stated on the blog was like we would see much more volatility around 16,800 zones. So a matter of 3 sessions we saw some volatility and again the next update was that once we start trading about 16,900 we should be targeting 17,500. Now if we see around out here, the day since it's crossed above 16900, we could see a good up move and followed by that, one day up one day down, since it's made a top around 17735, wherein after we touched 17500, the call was to book profits and generate cash like we had been doing before. In an up move, we have bought at lower levels and it's part of good discipline which we follow is to book profits at regular intervals. Now why do we say that the markets would be stopping around 17500? Like there were two alternatives around those zones. We would stop at either 17500 and go or go all the way up to 18300 which was the maximum side we were looking at. But we tend to be over conservative and at times cautious enough to go out with a call to book profit at 17,500 to 18,300 because it's not necessary to be timing the exact point but more important to see we are conserving our gains. Now if we see out here the channel came around 17,500 which, which is an upward sloping one so it would keep on increasing every day. So it took around 17,500 zone wherein the markets made an intermediate top. Now considering it to be an intermediate top, we would feel that it should now take a breather around 16,500 zones. If it breaks below 16,500, maybe there is much more trouble. So till then, like we said some days back, 16,900 to 17,100 range is what we are looking at and how markets behave around those levels. Now if we see uh, the Friday closing it has been broken too easily. So it doesn't seem we are trying to bounce back from 16900 and take a quick shot towards 18300. So in such a scenario we should continue to hold on to our cash which was generated and wait to see if 16500 is broken convincingly. It's better to exit whatever positions are left and wait for levels of 15800 and 15300. Now if we see, after making a low of 14700, if we have to confirm it's a higher top and higher bottom formation, the market should not be breaking 15300 or uh, otherwise we could see a newer low. Now that is also a possibility, so we won't pull out the possibilities on the downside. But yes, for now, those who have booked profits, it's better off to stay on sidelines till the markets decide to take a reversal. Maybe we'll buy it a bit higher as usual than the lows, but with a much more comfort level. 
now looking back the triangle size was almost around 2000 points so from 15900 to 17700 we almost did the triangle size this was same with the case on the downside breakdown earlier which was the whole triangle was around 3000 to 3500 points and once we went below 17500 we almost did the 3500 points at 14700 which is something like 2800 to 3000 odd points so let us see wait and watch how the channel supports and we'll see how the market span out in the next few weeks but the bottom line is wait with your cash look for stock specific opportunities only if the market sustain above 16500 or takes a reversal from those levels until then it's wait and watch